Hi, this is Brandon with Android Device Tutorials. Here I'm going to um, show you the initial setup of the uh, Pixel XL. Should be the same as the Pixel, you know, as well. But um, basically, I like to turn these on for the first time on video. So this is my first time turning the phone on as well. Let's hold the power button down and let it turn on. Uh, that way, if I run into any issues on the initial setup, uh, you'll see them as well. Okay, when it initially comes up, it has um, your settings here, vision settings, uh, your language settings, which you can set. Um, so you can always change it. It should come with your default settings depending on where you're ordering it from. But uh, So then you're going to want to hit let's go. And then here you say it says insert SIM card. It tells you where it is. We can skip this up front. If you have your SIM card, you can put it in, but let's skip it first. You can always add your SIM card later. Okay, it says, welcome to your Pixel XL. Um, you can copy your data from something else, or you can set it up as new. Um, I like to set up as new. Okay, here it's going to search for um, our Wi-Fi. In our case, it's Moki Connect. We'll go ahead and do this real quick. All right, hit connect. You can see it's checking for updates, and it is updating some things as it's taught as it's um, searching. Okay, now I want you to sign into your Google account if you have one. If you don't have one. <clears throat> You can create it or you can skip it for now. Um, we will go ahead and uh, set it up. Okay. Next, it's going to ask us, it says, by signing in, you agree to the terms of service. I will agree. Just checking info, getting account info. Okay. Now it has the unlock with fingerprint. Um, you can add a fingerprint. Uh, personally, I don't trust them. I'm going to skip it, but we'll go through the process later so that you can see how it works. Um, yeah, it's basically just saying you won't be able to stop anybody from getting on your phone if you need, you know, if you need to uh, set up security. So let's say skip anyway. Okay. Now it says, would you like to back anything that you do on here to Google Drive, like your you know these things listed. Um, it's a good idea to do it. You can turn it off if you don't. If if you're going to use this phone for something that's you don't care about, that you don't want to save any of the information. But generally, you're going to say okay. Okay. Now here, it has all the different things that are turned on. Okay. This is use Google's location service to help apps determine your location. Basically, if you install something that requires location. Uh, this helps it, but the thing is, if you turn these things off, it'll always ask you if the apps, uh, if the app needs it, it'll ask you for it, and you can turn it back on or change the settings later. I'll leave it on. Improve location accuracy. Um, it does improve accuracy quite a bit. There's a lot of new features on here, which is really nice. This free up space. You're you're. Older versions of Android have that as well. You have to manually go through that process. But this looks like it um, will actually notify you when you're low on storage and allow you to clean up anything that's already been backed up so that it's not on your phone since it's on the cloud already. So that's probably not a bad idea to get the alerts. Um, I'm sure when you get these alerts that it's going to allow you to, about 99% sure, that it'll allow you to say no if you don't want to. Uh, so it's not a big deal. Automatically send diagnostic uh, device app usage to Google. This basically helps them um, when they come up with stability updates, security updates, things like that. I turn this off because I'm going to end up destroying this phone in the long run, and I don't want my errors from me messing around being sent to Google because it doesn't really matter. It's not going to help them. Um, in your case, it doesn't matter. It doesn't use any battery. It doesn't really mess with your phone at all. It's just a preference. Allow Google Live Wallpapers to respond to your location by accessing Google's location service. 
I'm going to make an assumption here, so take it for what it's worth. This will use battery. I'm sure it doesn't use a lot, but it's something that if you turn off will probably be a good idea. So now we can just hit next. Okay. Now Google Assistant, this is something new in Android um, 7. And this is, it's just like the Google Now, only it has a lot more features, more like uh, like your Google Home type uh, style, where you can actually talk to it, and it's a little more interactive than just searching for the most part. So we'll go ahead and leave that on. All right, <clears throat> so now we have uh, to give permission to our the assistant, so I'll say sure, allow it. Um, you don't necessarily have to, but it's nice to... Uh, to do. So this is where you can teach it how to, um, your, your Google Assistant, kind of like Siri, um, but it, it teach it to um, learn your voice. So we can say get started. Okay Google. Okay Google. Okay Google. Alright, so now it knows my voice. Now, we will go ahead and, and say redu uh, review additional apps. There are Google Allo, Google Android Pay, Android Docs, Google Duo, Keep, Daydream Keyboard, and Google itself. Okay, here's the deal. Allo, text messaging app, newer um, kind of integrated thing. What, what just happened? I don't know why it backed up. If it does, just continue on. Okay Google. Okay Google. Okay Google. Additional apps. Okay, that was weird. Yeah, so Allo is the, the messaging app. Android Pay is so that you can use your phone to uh, pay at, you know, credit card stuff. Google Docs is like um, your office things like Word and Excel. Google Duo is like FaceTime or um, it's the Hangouts kind of where you can you know, talk to people. Um, Google Keep is uh, more of like a notes thing that you can um, you can take notes, put in reminders and things like that, and you can share with other people as well. Um, not sure what the Daydream keyboard is yet. Uh, we'll look at that in here in a little while. And then of course Google itself. Let's continue. Okay, there we are. The phone is on. It will, I'm sure, download some updates. It says, um, updating the Google Play Store now. Um, but that's it, you're, you're set up. And that is your initial setup. That up arrow brings you, you know, your app drawer up. Home button, I'm still gonna try to figure these out. That shows all your recent items, and then your back button, of course. If you hold that down, I think that's assistant. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. There you go. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? What we'll do is we'll do a, a second video on that. But that's your initial setup. Um, and, you know, if you have any questions on setup or run into another, you know, an error other than that whole back and out thing, whatever that was about, um, just uh, holler at us, ask us, and we'll do our best to figure out what the issue is. Um, but for now, that is your initial setup. Thanks for watching.